Your feet for a moment, just bless the Lord. We bless you, Lord. We give you the glory. We magnify you and tell of your story. We love you, Abba, Father. Abba. We give you praise, Father, Lord. Doing nothing better than this. Praise the school, honor oh, Father God. Praise the school, on the living word. Praise the school, on the one who is not of lost. So we call on you now. Praise the school to the clouds we give you thanks for your grace father and the honor belongs to you for everything you have done praise the good on father god praise the good on the living world praise the good Father, our soul is dead Cause your 
front of me I am reaching towards thank you Lord God for I hope I have a hope I have a future I have the Lord Jesus thank you for family thank you father for instruction thank you for the spirit of life thank you for forgiveness thank you for newness thank you for counsel thank you for illumination father I am grateful that you are my God you are my savior you are my king you are everything I need Everything I need Oh, everything I need and more You are God Not like any man But you, we can take a stand You, Father, gave the commands Get up the other Oh, we worship you, our Lord God. We give you praise. We give you the praise, Jesus. We give you the praise. Oh, we give you the praise. All the glory and power. All the glory and power. Father from your holy nation, we have come this generation to bow before your grace. Praise and thanksgiving, Maliba Shitu Tata. We bring God as our offering, Maradada standing here before our king Kadigadu Shidada. We have come to bow down. Our king is God. Lord of Lords, our King's ancient of days, our King has hidden ways, so today we give Him praise, we'll 
says, da 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 By His grace we're never faced, get da 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 Father, Lord, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise this morning. It's a delight that we can come. And we have the Holy Spirit that searches out the deep things of God living with us, assisting us in all things. You left us with help. Just thank the Lord for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. We are grateful. Grateful for the Spirit. Spirit of truth. Grateful for the Spirit upon us who does prove. Thank you for the Spirit of truth. You provide for us the food. It's through Lord your strength we know growth. As living trees without fruit. Thank you, Lord God, for the truth.
morning. Good Lord, I'm asking as we've come, we ask that we find you. Please smile on us. The land you promised, ordained and gave us. May we see it. May we enter it. Give us grace to become all that you desire. Thank you. Blessed be your name. Open eyes, ears, hearts and mouths this morning. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may have a seat. The first song we sang, you know, as we sing it, I've often shared, I hear lines of songs. Sometimes I, I cannot for the life of me recall the wordings till I start singing. And as I'm looking, I'm at, I just hear a line. And that first song spoke about the Lord being the master of the promised land. We will sing, we we'll dance, we we'll clap our hands to the one who's the master of the promised land. He's the one through whom we'll take our stance. I don't know who changed that last line. Upon his promises. So after that, we'll take our stance upon his promises before praise looks good on you. Okay, so there's a missing portion there. Now we take our stance upon his promises. We stand on the promises. We've been looking at the inheritance. They are the things that God that gives us. They are things that God offers us. And we've been looking for many days now at these things, the inheritance. We've taken time to explain what the inheritance is, shown you that it's not physical alone. There's a part you enjoy in this realm and this time, but it's mostly, by saying it's not physical, it doesn't mean it won't be physical. The inheritance, the 10 cities, five cities, one city, those are physical promises. Unlike what I grew up believing, I thought that the inheritance was all going to heaven and that was it everybody would just if you can just make heaven you've entered into god's promise for you and that's not correct at all if it was correct then all the many passages we've seen when jesus would say there's something like being the greatest in the kingdom there's something like being the least there's something like give this one 10 cities give this one five cities give this one nothing 
In fact, the little he has taken from him. All of that is provided for in scripture. We see that servants are not treated the same. The Bible says when he comes, he looks at this servant and says, good and faithful servant. And he gives him something. And then he looks at another one and he hands him over to be disciplined. He throws some out. He brings some in. He lifts some. He promotes some. He demotes some. He leaves some in the state. He found them. All of this shows you that the inheritance is not the condition of everyone letting into a space called heaven. And then we are all equal. Wow, you made it. Wow, well done. Ah, she made it. And we are all equal. No, 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 no. There are huge, huge distinctions in what the inheritance is. We saw the resurrection. You know, one day, many years ago, I looked up the mission statement. I think it was of the apostolic church, you know. And even different, I, I looked at one or two, maybe assemblies, I'm not too sure. You know, it was amazing. But right there, you know, the same things we teach, the millennial reign of Christ, the fact that the Lord Jesus will come and set up a kingdom and rule on the earth. These things are believed by denominations all around the world. But unfortunately, almost very few of them ever talk about it. The only people that seem, who are, again, it's even a problem. You wonder, I mean, are they really a church group? That one group that talks about the kingdom of God coming, you would think they came up, they invented the thought. Meanwhile, this is in the founding statements the foundational principles of nearly every church group. But they just shove it aside. They don't have light on it. So they don't talk about it. But it's in their founding principles. We ought to ask if they know. Say, can you show me the 12 foundational principles of your church group? They will bring it out. Inside there you see, we believe in this statement of faith. We believe in this. We believe that the Lord Jesus shall return to the earth and rule on it. But they never preach it. When they preach, all they say is, you know, if you can just make heaven. So this one called that is in your foundational principle. So don't think we are unique. Don't think the only difference here is that we constantly emphasize it because all the disciples emphasize it because that's all that Jesus emphasized. When they would ask him, Lord, what will we gain? He would tell them in the resurrection, in the resurrection, in the resurrection. And I've shown you clearly that when he would say the kingdom of God, he was talking about the resurrection. Multiple scriptures we've seen. If you haven't followed us, all our messages are online. Okay, you can watch totally uncut everything I said. We, we don't go in and throw out parts of what I said, you know, and say, oh, look at that place. What you said was, um, didn't sound nice. People make mistakes. We leave it there. We don't edit our message. If we edit anything, maybe I'm sneezing. Ha-chum, ha-chum, ha-chum. And we're like, was there an impartation during that sneeze? Not necessary. Remove that sneeze. <laughs> so, but generally, the full message is under the live segments on YouTube, the way it was streamed, but because sometimes there might be glitches. So they also take the camera version and put there under the video segment, you know, and um, just, it's smoother. It's camera recorded. But the one that is streaming right now that other people online are watching us sometimes might have some slight breaks. It's not rainy season. During the rainy season, it's very bad, but now it's smoother. You know, so it's all there. What's my point? We don't change. You want to know what we believe, what we teach? It's there. You want to say, oh, those meetings I missed, this is part 10. Promise and fulfillment, part 10. Before that, there was three. Then we started counting one, two, three. That's the Danite. Go through it. Take your time. Learn what your inheritance is. It's very difficult to be passionate about what you have not seen. It's very difficult. And human nature runs after what it's passionate about. How can you feel passion about what you don't know? What is vague and unclear? You stir up people's emotions by what you put into their ears and before their eyes. So those who control the news media, let's say politicians sometimes, they'll put out certain things to inflame the passions of people, to stir up feeling. What the Bible will call heart. Leb in the Hebrew. Heart. When you touch that, it creates determinations. People sit down and say, you know, you know, in this world, I will, or this will happen. What they've done, you've touched their heart. When you touch that, you activate all sorts of things. You see people pursuing something for 25 years, 35 years. It's because something touched. Unfortunately, if it's negative and it touched them wrongly, they wait. They say, don't worry, I'll kill all these Jews. Don't worry. And they become an Adolf Hitler. They look and say, why, why, why do they have all the money? Why is it them controlling all the money? I'll deal with them in this life. 
and one day he becomes president. That passion can drive him till he becomes the ruler of his nation. And after that, he makes it, he drives out all the Jews from the land. They don't go. He starts killing them, using them for experiments. Passion. When there's a stirring, it can be negative, it can be positive. Karl Marx. It can come up with things, Frederick Angels. You come up with something that is so bad and you, and, and you say, wonder, why, why, why do you, look at what you have done through your words. In Rwanda, 1990s, Rwanda, the, the, the Tutsis uh, and the Hutus. The Hutus were the majority, but the Tutsis have always been the ruling class. And they lived together long time. Oppression from the time of the colonialists, you know, who had ruled over them. And here they are. And passion is staring, offense. And someone, you know, the Hutu uh, broadcasters on radio kept saying on the radio, you know, kill the cockroaches. So he was referring to the Tutsis as the cockroaches. Kill the cockroaches. Cockroaches. Kill them. He said it for a long time. And when it was time, they took machets and began to hack down Tutsis everywhere. Killed and killed and killed and killed and killed. If you watch sometime in April, you would have seen it. If you haven't watched it, I recommend it. It's recommended viewing in this church. It's a movie, a Hollywood movie called Sometime in April. Watch it. It's good for your health, your mental health. Look at what happens when a people keep speaking negatively about another tribe nonstop. You keep staring up passion. You keep staring up offense. Keep staring. And in your mind, you're like, eh, now, is it not true? You keep saying, they said it till they were, within uh, three months, they had killed nearly one million people. Is it one month? Slaughtered human beings everywhere as though, as though. You know, yesterday I was talking and I said like chickens and I stopped. Nobody kills chickens that way. You don't just cut down chickens and throw down. Nobody wastes chicken. And it's all that slaughtering. Why is that? That's what comes from words. The power of words, of passion. When you stare up and there's a negative staring, but there's the positive also. The early church had it. Constantly, the Lord Jesus would say, in the resurrection, when the kingdom comes, the kingdom of heaven is like the kingdom of heaven. He was referring to the time. It's in the Lord's prayer. When you pray, pray in this manner. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. No, it's not comes. It's a prayer. Your kingdom come. It's a request. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That is the kingdom of God. It's a coming it's when God's will is done on earth, the same way God's will is done in heaven. That's the kingdom. That kingdom that everyone grew up hearing that it is in heaven. He said he wants that kingdom to come. This is the Lord Jesus telling us how to pray, what to pray for. When they asked him in Matthew 6, and he began from about verse 8, they asked him then verse 9, and he said, this is how you should pray. This is what you should pray for. This is the first request. When you go further down to verse 22 or 3, he says, seek ye first. All other things. Well, later on, he, he, he says, you know, don't worry about these things. Sufficient for the day is the evil thereof. You know, verse 33. Seek first the kingdom of God. Why does he say first? It's not the first time he told you what to seek. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. He already told you when you pray, pray after this manner. First prayer point. Our father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Like we were just singing. Oh, we bless you and give you the glory. Your hallowed means separated, distinct, exalted. Be your name. Consecrated, holy, hallowed. Be your name. Let everyone know that you are different. That's what we were doing. Hallelujah means praise. It's in Hebrew. It's not a heavenly language. It's Hebrew. Hebrew language. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah is Jehovah. Yahweh. Short form. So we were hallowing his name. May your name, we sing hallelujah with the angels. That's what we just finished doing. I hope you were doing it. We just finished hallowing his name. That's the first. That's how you enter his gates with praise. You come in. When you pray, pray. This is how you should pray. Lord, you are worthy. We, We come in here lifting you. Then the next point, the very next point, seek ye first. 
Not food that comes later. First, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus told you how he prays. When Jesus would go out to pray early in the morning, when he would seek his father's face early in the morning, I can tell you what he was praying. He was saying, Lord, in this land that you have sent me, in this Israel, after he has honored the Lord God, I am asking, this is how you seek the kingdom first and its righteousness. Today, let your kingdom come. Wherever I go, the second song we're singing, wherever, or perhaps, wherever we go, may the river flow. That's the river of life. Let everyone know. So we weren't just singing, we were praying. So we went from hallowing him, praising him, appreciating him, to crossing over to requesting. Let your kingdom. What is the kingdom of God? We saw it on Friday, we saw it on Wednesday. Righteousness, peace, and joy. Romans chapter 14, verse 17. Romans 14. Verse 17, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking. There it is again. Before, listen, in the Lord's Prayer, you all, all know that the next day after the prayer is going to be, give us this day our daily bread. That's after you have sought the kingdom. This is the order. This is the order. His kingdom, seek first his kingdom. The kingdom of God is not Daily bread. It is righteousness, peace, and joy. So what do you wake up seeking? Father, I ask today, wherever I go, let there be righteousness. Help me be an agent of righteousness, peace, and joy. That's how I think. That's how. That's all you want to do. I talk to anybody. I meet anybody. Whatever I'm doing, Lord, the more you are consumed with this, the more you are not just praying the prayer for his kingdom to come. You are not Talking only, you are doing. You're not just a hearer, you are a doer. You are a doer. So as you open your mouth, you open it in righteousness. Remember what we saw the other, the other day. He said, little children, don't let anyone deceive you. He that does righteousness is righteous. That's the kingdom of God. You are seeking the kingdom by doing righteousness. Kingdom of God is righteousness. So I stand to buy something from you. And I don't cheat you. I don't tell lies. I don't tell. I do righteousness. Ah, madam, you not sell it for 300. Please now. It's only 300 I have. Meanwhile, you have 500. You just did on righteousness. You like. And the woman out of pity. Not knowing that she is to be pitied more than you. You do on righteousness. You, that other 200 you're saving, you want to buy cook. You beg her. Auntie, please now. Would I have begged you like this if I had? You have done unrighteousness. Yes, yes. For those who always think it's big people that have big money that do unrighteous. No, small people. Before you became big and did unrighteousness, you started small. All right. So, 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 so you pray. You say, Lord, you ask, you ask, you press in. You seek righteousness, the kingdom and its righteousness. Righteousness, peace. You choose peace. There's opportunity for war, for trouble, for violence, opposition. You choose peace. You're seeking the kingdom, not just in words. You prayed it. When you were praying, you prayed, Lord, God, I ask, let there be peace. Help me bring peace. Help me be a peacemaker. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Lord, where I go today? That's you enter a place. Your two roommates are, are, are acting like two cats. Meow, meow, meow. I saw a short video last night. <laughs> <laughs> we are working on editing something. And while we were waiting, I, my phone mistakenly saw two cats. One could talk. I'm telling you, you can, there's no, not, if I show you, you will not believe it. That cat could talk. It was talking. <laughs> if you hear it, it's far more detailed. <laughs> Obviously, they are fighting. The bigger black one. That was obviously the big boss. He didn't say a word. Just the, the smaller white one was talking, became a speaking animal. Thank God the dog came and separated them. The white one kept talking. It looked like, okay. <laughs> you can be like that dog. 
if there was a way I could project there, I'll find that video and that project. You, 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 I wish you could be like that dog. That dog is a peacemaker. Showed up, like, don't fight now. No, 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 come, 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 come. What's wrong? Come first, come. What happened now? Move them away. You can be a peacemaker in this world. Now, there's a place you go to make peace. Go, go, go. Push it. Just leave. <laughs> the Bible also says, he that passes and dabbles in a matter that does not concern him. It's like someone that passed and took a dog by the ear that was just there by itself. What you see is what you see. There's a way you go to hold someone and they give you. There's a way they are fighting. You don't, you know, you try, but you can't. When I was serving, what's his name? Uh, Shola. What's the guy's name? The other guy. can't remember. Let me call. Uh, Rotty me or something. But these guys are serving. And Shola is like, ah, see, Shola is muscular. I'm like, see, see this guy, you be small boy. You. I'll just beat you here. Shola is a more friendly this other one, obviously, I think he might have been a cultist in school. And they are there. What if happened? And he goes, hey, hey, hey. grabs bottle. I've heard of these things. I, I, now I saw it. Breaks it. Boo, boo. He's not holding it like this. He's holding it like this. And I'm like, stop. This one's bare chested. This one's. I said, go back. I'm telling, uh, shall I go back? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. There's a place to shift. You know, when you're pushing someone, they are so slippery, you can't hold them. <laughs> Pride. If only, oh, all I'm happy is he didn't die. Because he could have died. Oh, yes. He went after a guy. The guy held the broken bottle and carved him. If it, one was here, if it had moved one inch lower, you know what is here? It's called the jugular. Blood would have flown like water. He would be dead. He would be a dead body. He would be dead. I saw white come out, white. Where the thing passed, it became whitish. You know, it becomes white before it becomes red. <coughs> Stupid boy. <laughs> that I ran into the bush. Thank God, Shallah forgave him when he came back from the hospital long after. I tried to make peace. Those cats, when the dog came, they, did, they stayed separate. These human beings, when I came like that dog, they refused to stay separate. So that's where you back out. You don't insist. I'm dead. They hold you. They, they, poof. <laughs> <laughs> he said, my pastor said, you, I must make peace. <laughs> Your pastor is a balanced preacher. Before you say, they ask you, what happened? <laughs> Proverbs 26, 17, like one who grabs a dog by the ears is a passerby who meddles in a quarrel, not his own. Okay? All right, so the scriptures tell us that it is the will of God that we be peacemakers. The kingdom of God is righteousness and it's peace and it is joy in the Holy Spirit. There's a joy that God gives. Don't look for joy outside. People are always looking for joy outside from money, from enjoyment, from, from resources, from fame, from popularity. Did you hear how they're clapping for me? Ah, did you hear? They're looking for joy from people. You're looking for joy from likes. So you start doing things online. Take your phone and say something. You know, today, people, like, 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 thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumb. Today, it's called dopamine. Your brain, your neurotransmitter, dopamine releases, gives you a sense of well being. You pursue it. What makes people pursue things? Passion. It gives you drive, it pushes you to pursue things. So you do it in the hope. Dopamine is what you drives the monkey to climb the tree. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Dopamine is what makes him move that fast up that tree. It's a release of hormones. It powers. Dopamine is what makes the guy wake up and go early to class. I used to come late and sit because that girl will sit next to him. It's dopamine. <laughs> dopamine. It drives you. 
That's what makes someone run. Your mother says, come and take flash powers. <laughs> flash, all powers. <laughs> All that, yeah. No dopamine. Who wants to sweep this place? No dopamine. Zero dopamine. In fact, cortisol. Cortisol, the negative one. Bam, bam, danger, danger. Bomb blast, danger. Cortisol. You soon be bending and sweeping. If you don't silently... <laughs> Sweep through the back door now. <laughs> you can see yourself. <laughs> God saw you. <laughs> so, cortisol is negative emotions, fear. The pamphlet drives you. Go, 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 go. That's what happens with your phone. That's why you pick up your phone every time. Has someone spoken to me? That's why you can't control how you pick the phone. That constant, I'm just telling you the neuropsychological thing. It's, 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 a, it's a terrible something. It's real. I saw them putting Mark Zuckerberg on for the US Senate a few days ago. He was, I just saw it yesterday and he was, Mark Zuckerberg is the founder of Facebook and he, Whatever. They are telling you about the negative impact of his, his Instagram and different things. How in one week, seven days, they checked. It's their own study. They did the study. They. Someone leaked it. I suppose it. Girls 13 to 15 years old. 13 to 15 years old. In a seven-day period had received the number of people they use as a study, about 35 to 40% of them had received sexual advances through social media platforms owned by them, Facebook, this and that. They were just giving statistics, 40%, 60, 50%, this. Negative, negative, bad, 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 bad things. Depression, all sorts of bad things had come through because of the use of, because people go there for their fix, for their dopamine fix. You know, I don't take drugs. Yes, you do. You have a black idol. If I made phones, I'll call it black idol or the idol. I'll just be honest. So people turn to it for joy. Did someone talk to me? Ah, you're mixing soup. Oh. God knows how much fufu, soup, rice, beans has burnt in this world. You want to check? How many of you, your phone is why the food burnt? God is watching you. Don't sit there and act like you don't understand English. The reason the food burnt, I'm not saying, your mother will not see this video. Even if she sees. Hey, the reason the food burns is not even once. It's your phone. Raise your hand like this. Raise it high. Uh -huh. Put down the hand. I didn't look at your face. I don't care. I just want people to know that I'm not preaching lies. It's the truth. This thing. Why? Because that cooking doesn't generate as much dopamine as someone talking to you, saying something even if it's irrelevant, it's, it's just something. That's, that's how technology, that's how they've configured it to work. It's a terrible thing. So it puts people in bondage. I am saying your joy is not to come from these things. Nobody even answered. I posted something. Nobody even liked it. One thumbs up. Then you become addicted. Then the time comes, you, next thing they call you a social media influencer. You want people to respond. It's so bad that girls start taking off their clothes to increase the likes. Yes, many of those girls wouldn't want anyone touching them. Don't come near me. God, God forbid. But they are so desperate. They start doing like this. Now, there are those that do it for money. I can understand. In China, in different places, they have factories 
where they generate, where men, if I show you, you believe. In fact, if I show you, you not believe. Men, they have filters on these apps and it changes the man's face and voice. The, not the voice so much, the face. The man fakes the voice. Hello, where you keep my If you see it, I doubt who has seen it, apart from not you people I showed you. Who has seen it? It's unbelievable. Men, real men with mustache. When the filter comes on, the mustache is gone. All the girls are fine. You'll be wondering why Chinese girls are so fine. Looking like anime. It's called filters. It's not real. Some are ugly girls. I mean, the person is holding the camera like this and holding. You're seeing them on the screen. You're seeing them. It's, it's incomprehensible. It's unbelievable. And they're... So a man is... Hello. So one of how they cut one, you know, he forgot he didn't on the filter. So he put on the hair, the long hair, and see his ugly male face. They now clicked it on. Already had seen him. Fine girl. And he talks and he dances. I just and then people start sending money, sending gifts. At least he did it for money. They are doing it for money. I mean, they have factories. I mean, they should. This guy went under a bridge where there are lights. You know how we have street lights here in this plaza area? Have you seen this place at night? Like that. So there are places like that. People, some of them are homeless people. Massive is the open street. Under bridges where cars don't pass. It's like a factory. The way you're seated almost is how they are. Just a little gap. They are using the wall of the streets. Seated there, everyone with ring lights. All over, each of them. It's a job. People follow them and pay them and give them money. So they are not indecent. They are out in the open. So they are those that are in rooms, in houses. They rent it and they work. Bored people. Why am I, this example, this one, at least they are earning from it. It's not right, it's deception, but at least they are earning money. What about the ones, you're not earning a dime, you just want people to like, to, it's dopamine. You're looking for joy, but it's not joy in the Holy Spirit. You're looking for joy. And you must be delivered from it. What people have done for these things, if you know what people have done, people have killed people for these things. You would think it's not possible. No, you can. And addicts, amongst the people that kill people the most or do things in this world, many of them are addicts. They needed to steal your money to buy drugs, to continue their drug habits. So they shot someone. They wouldn't have shot. They are not murderers. They have no reason to want to kill you. But they really need that money. They are shaking already. They are shaking already. They really need that money. <laughs> Give it to me, man. Give it to me. <laughs> Pow. I told you to give it to me. <laughs> he wouldn't be a murderer, but now he's a murderer. Many females are prostitutes because of a drug habit. They were looking for joy in Drugs. So they began with, then they went to, they went to, they went through all sorts of levels. In spite of the terrible destruction to their body, it will bring the destruction of their life, short term and long term. They are looking for joy. They want to feel peace, joy in the wrong place. That joy, you get it from the Holy Spirit. It's not a human joy. It's not people. It's not substances. There's a song of ours. Uh, 
one of our songs. Before that. The verse, how does that verse begin? Sing it properly now. Sing it properly. To you, our oh holy God. God. You, you are, are the one we are addicted to. Only, Only you we depend upon. upon. You're everything we need. You You're are a fix. You fix us. Oh Lord, you are a hope we hope upon. Oh Lord, you are a hook. You hook us, oh Lord. We're hooked to the mighty God. Oh Lord, we're hooked to the cross. Oh Lord, we're hooked to Jesus. Oh Lord, we're dependent on you. You are the substance we need. Oh Lord, we will follow the shadow. Oh Lord, this is our reality. Oh Lord, you're our eternal substance. You make our future dance. Oh Lord. This song has drug themes running through it. <laughs> Only to you, our holy God, you are the one we are addicted to. Only you, we depend upon. The guy has a drug dependence. We have a God dependence. You are everything we need. You are our fix. That's what they call a drug. I, I need to get a fix. I need to get a fix, man. I need to get a fix. You fix us. You are our hope. We hope upon you. Are our hook. Say, oh no, no, no. They got her hooked on heroin. That's how they do it. That's how they make many girls uh, drug addicts. They grab her. They inject her with heroin. They keep her there. In this world, for real, many, a normal girl, kidnap her, inject her with drugs. <sighs> they come back a certain number of hours, inject her again. <sighs> After, I don't know how many days long, the time comes, they don't inject her. So please, please, they've made her an addict. They turn her, they turn her into an addict. Now she needs drugs. They say, well, you won't just get it for free. You, you, you want some? You want, you want some? Good. So, so there's someone we are going to introduce you to. So that's how she becomes an, an addict. They make her an addict. That's how she becomes a prostitute. You see her, you say, can you imagine this girl standing by the road and selling her body? No, she's a drug addict who needs to sleep with people so she can have her fix. It's not everybody. Many people in this life didn't become what they are because they wanted to. Believe it. That's why you're not too harsh. Not harsh on people. This is some people's story. Not many here, but in, in our claim. But around the world, many places they have done this, you know. So we can be hooked. So she's hooked. That's why I gave the word. She's hooked. She's hooked on drugs. She's hooked, you know. We are hooked to the mighty God. We won't follow the shadows. All of this. We are hooked to the cross. We are hooked to Jesus. We are dependent, okay. We are the substance we need. Lord Jesus is the substance. All right, that should be a capital S. We won't follow the shadow. This is our reality. You are our eternal substance. You make our feet to dance, all right? So instead of using drugs and behaving all happy, you know, because many, they take those drugs, they're all happy. Hey, man, how, what's up with you? <laughs> Their joy is from drugs. It always runs out, so they'll need more. Then they'll need more. Then they'll need again. Then they'll need again. When your joy is Jesus... <laughs> the more, worst that can happen is Lord God I need to go to a church <laughs> I can just drag myself to a church <sighs> oh 
hopefully they 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 worship God at some point or they speak the word of God and it's like it's like thirsty land you sip in. How many of you have felt like that before? Your life is just filling anyhow, and then you get to, and it's like it's like you watch. There's nothing as beautiful. This this substance is the real one. This one you don't pay for it in cash. All you many times all you need to do is carry yourself to the place. Take yourself to the place. Take yourself to the place. Now you can you don't have to come to a church meeting to get it. You can in your room alone. You can go to the Lord. Lord Jesus. That's why you should be a child of God. That's why you should give your life to Jesus. You can go to the Lord. But just in case it seems the opposition you're facing so much, go to a, I won't even say some special church. You don't have to go to some, maybe you say, oh, there's one very serious church like this on Ikbaru Road, 15 Ikbaru. You don't have to, almost any church where they are, in those few minutes, even if it's highly controlled, five minutes, worship leader, five minutes, five have you heard? You stand behind, tell him. <laughs> you dare not sing beyond the allotted time. Those five minutes will nourish. If you will go into it as they are singing, whatever they are singing, give me a common chorus, any song. The great I am, hallelujah, hallelujah, you are the mighty. If you will close your eyes and go there, and you see the Lord on the throne, it's, you can't see him well now, he's God, but you cut out, you're not busy looking left and right. Hmm, this is girl, I wonder how tired you Because <laughs> people, you constantly distract yourself. You don't know you're on a clock. You don't, you don't know where you are. You think you're in God's lighthouse. You think they'll go on and on. No, no clock. If I was you, I would focus. You may have five minutes, max ten. Better maximize it. Don't dance too much. Just be there. You are the mighty God. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Be doing ad lib. Oh, the great I am over everything I'm going through. Hallelujah. Praise Jehovah, I praise you in spite of, you're there, you're there, you're there. You're stirring up the joy. There are things God has given his children. Ah. Satan spends most of his time, one, making sure you don't know anything. <laughs> because the more you know, the more, the more strong you become. Proverbs 24, verse 5 and 6, a wise man is strong. A man of knowledge increases in strength. Also skip right. For by wise counsel, with you wage your own war. And in a multitude, victory lies in a multitude of counselors. Multitude of counselors, they safety. A wise man is strong. A man of knowledge enhances his strength. Do you remember Captain America? He had enhanced strength. In the spirit realm, it's knowledge that enhances strength. That thing they injected into Captain America is knowledge for us. When they inject it into you. The more you know about God, like I'm sharing this morning, if you can receive it, hear it, and live it, and practice it, you become stronger. You go through situations. I've seen people with knowledge. I've seen it for years. As a pastor of many students, university students, I've watched them. I've watched, and their classmates are in panic mood. Uh, what's happening? Has it come out? They can't sleep at night. They sit, sleep with their phones. They don't sleep. In fact, what am I saying? Has it come out yet? They are fretting. Has the result come out? Has the posting come out? Has the law school come out? Has this one? Has that one? Has that one? <laughs> I've been around people that is like, you won't even know what's happening because they don't even really talk about it. They are in exactly the same class, in the same situation. But they have learned to have peace in God over time. So it's like everybody is fretting. And some people say, eh, yo, you don't have problem now because you, you are uh, you are ready. <laughs> and they're like, if you know, you're, you're, you're joking. Red, red, red what? Red me. <laughs> ready. Me. You, you are like a thousand times more ready than me. You've read 
every time I was in a church meeting, going for evangelism, doing whatever I was doing for hours, all of it, you, you spend reading. But the exam comes. <laughs> The other one seems so calm as though, as though they are masters of the universe. I've seen it. I've seen it. I, I like seeing with medical students. They want to die. Sit there. It helps, it helps them trust in God. Wonderful things shall be spoken of you. O city of God. When you look back, you, when you tell someone, I am where I am by the grace of God. You say, Amen. Yes, so all of us. You say, Come here, sit down. Uh -uh. That thing I said is not a cliche. You don't say all of us. You have no idea of where I'm coming from. I say, Where I am. God put me here, or God brought me here, or God passed me here, or God directed me here. So you dare not, when I say something, you join and be saying, Yes, so. Yes, so what? You, you prepared for it. Me. If God did not save me, I'm dead. I know I was carried here. He carried, they lifted me like that. Carried me and brought me to this place and dropped me. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm doing it for God. I'm do, I must do God's will here because God brought me here. You know, some people do not know to trust the Lord. Some people do not know to trust the Lord. Sometimes you have to help them. So they will not boost at the end. I know the effort. They'll say I tried, but <laughs> what I tried was not enough. It was not enough. Other people say, no, you're naturally bright. No. No. I trusted in the Lord. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. You remember that? How many of you sang it for the first time? Well, last week. You can't remember. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. 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 I'm 34. Learn it. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. He delivered me from all my fears. I sought the Lord and he answered me. Say, take it away. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Psalm 34, verse 4. Own it. How do you come to the place where you're free from all your fears? I just showed you. Hey, I was looking for something to calm me down. Mm -mm. It's the Lord. And how? Seek ye first. first. Are you seeing that thing? Are you seeing it? First. 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 In your seeking the Lord, one of the things he does, stand up. Fears. Fears. You have fears. Fears. She has fears. All kinds of fears. 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 You seek the Lord. She came to where the Lord was. Hmm? Ah, how are you? And as we continue our journey, the Lord, hmm, this is a concern. I see. This concerns you. What is this? Which way do you... As the journey continues, he's reading you of your fear. This is how I have seen it happen. You know what people look for? You look for magic. Magic. If you just lay hands on me. I know there's a spirit of fear. I've seen, I've cast spirits of fear off of people many times. Many times I'm praying for In fact, it's the most common spirit as far as I know. Many times I'm starting to pray for fear first timers. All kinds of people. I hear fear and I have to stop and say, I rebuke the spirit of fear off of you. 
People walk under layers of fear. This world full of fears. Every kind. Every kind. Every kind of fear. Failure. Solitariness, you know. I won't be married. I can't marry. I'll be sick. I may die. I'll be poor. I'll be hungry. I, I'll be abandoned. Rejection. They will leave me alone. Nobody will help me. This, I won't have where to stay. And these fears drive us to do all sorts of things, compromises, break, disobey God. So someone tells you, why don't you do? The Bible says, you're like, because inside you're like, you're consumed with fear. If I don't do this, how will I eat? How am I sure? How am I sure? In other words, I can't just trust God. How can I just trust God? Ah, no. Abandonment from God is a real thing, please. If they understood the principle, they would have sought the Lord. Lord, when you have fear, you run to him. And then he will read you. Even if you get a brand new fear, you just read something in the newspapers. That's actually a major way to get fear. Listening to news. <laughs> How to be afraid. Just have a habit of watching. You know, my father used to watch the news, so I've grown up with the habit. <laughs> Welcome to a life full of troubles. You have unnecessary fears. You're always tracking what's happening. Someone thought you track everything happening in you, you. Everything happening. Follow you, you uh, news group. Follow this thing group. Follow this group. And they always drop negative. I was on one pastor's group one time. Someone added me. Or I, I want to follow one man. He wrote something, a preacher. And I was like, wow, this is very nice. And I saw I had a group and I clicked and joined. <laughs> one guy in the U.S. would drop four bits of negative news. It was in Buhari's time. Every day. He was... That, if I have that level of consistency in my life, by now everybody will be following us on social media because that guy dropped negative news and it was four pieces. It's obvious he made a determination that it's going to be four. And that group was only pastors purported and you drop pa, four, pa, four, pa. Negative, bad, 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 bad. After six months, one day I dropped good news. <laughs> Hi, God, save Nigeria. Those are the people praying for our nation. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Jesus, help us. Mm. One day I dropped, I took a, a picture of the train station. Who stays in Lagos? So I've seen this train station, the nice, lovely train stations in Lagos that goes to Ibadan. All of you, you, you? Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I've seen pictures. You've heard, okay, you've heard rumors and maybe seen pictures. The train station. I saw one hand before too, but lovely, lovely, lovely. Very nice, very foreign. <laughs> I saw someone comment when they put it on YouTube. Some people came from South Africa and went, wow, this is N Nigeria's train station. This is lovely. And they're talking about it, mentioning their train stations in South Africa. Oh, wow, this. This is as nice as, or bigger, or nicer than, you know, and this and that. Someone saw it. I think the guy has abroad based on his number, and he said, not on this same group. Comment. Say, this is a pure lie. I am from Nigeria. This can never be true. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the thing is there physically. Everybody is seeing it. When you configure... <laughs> Configuration is so negative that even when people are standing from another country saying, Whoa, Nigeria, you're like, it's a lie. <laughs> How can any good thing come out of Nigeria? God forbid. Let it be bad. Uh -huh. It makes us glad. If it's good, it makes us sad. You need deliverance. You should seek the Lord. You, you have a fear of good things happening in Nigeria. You need deliverance. Why? Because if any good thing happens, you seem as though you that said no good thing can come out of this country, you are lying. Let me inform you, you are lying. Let's just shorten the process. Whether you see or not, you are a liar. If you see the good things in this country, you yourself, you'll be weak. You say they published a book about President Buhari last week or two. And in the book are 80 pages of achievements. 80 they said they commissioned this one. I was told by someone that was in, if someone that passed and said I was in a meeting and they commissioned a study by four professors 
They thought you'd be one study. Four books came out. And they set aside, they said, these are the statistics. Set aside any bias, set aside anything, and just study the facts. Another one, they called someone that used to attack government day and night outside the country, you know, from a quite state, Atai Kide. Who has heard of that name? Atai Kate. Ikede, Ikede, you know. And they commissioned him to go around all the local governments, 8,000 towns or villages, and check the things the federal government had done. He traveled to a few, it wasn't possible. So it's a finish, he came back. The, the wind was knocked out of his cells because he had spent all his time saying, it's a lie, rubbish, ne nothing. Well, show me one good thing. A friend of mine asked me many years ago, uh, show me one, he said, one. I'm not asking for two, he said, one good thing. I looked at him, I, I, I didn't know where to start. Listen to me. If your configuration is negative, even if in front of you a good thing is, listen, that's the opposite of joy. I dropped that train on that group. Someone responded. Who said this is real? Um, if you're not careful, the person lives in Lagos. So. Look at you, how far it is. All he had to do to confirm it is check everything or anything. My point, you're meant to have joy. It is one of the aspects of the kingdom of God. The inheritance is the kingdom of God. If you are hoping to spend the future in the kingdom of God, question, child of God, why do you like negative news that takes away joy? Why do you delight in it? Why does it give you joy to see something? <laughs> you see it? You say, say, yeah, I've said it. Useless country. Stop that thing. Stop it. Stop it before I turn it back on your head. Stop. Proverbs 11, verse 11 says, something. Let's say it together. By the blessing of the upright, a city is built up, but by the mouth of the wicked, it is torn down. We are going to do it again. If I see you not reading, I'll know it's you I'm talking to. I'll come to you. Except you can't see and you, or you can't read. Look at a screen in front of you. Let's see what God says. One, two, go. By the blessing of the upright, a city is built up. But by the mouth of the wicked, it is torn down. The word built up is the word edify. So do you know what the devil does? The opposite of the joy of the kingdom of God is that it goes around and puts bitterness in your heart. Then you open your mouth. Then all the bitterness you let out tears down the city. Then you say, is it not what I said? Who is following me? You tore down the city. Can you picture there's something? They built this lectern. You came with a hammer, broke it piece by piece. And then you said, I told you in that place, they don't have any good thing. Look at, look at their lectern. Look, look, look at, look, look, look at this tata thing. Meanwhile, you broke it. So we open our mouths. What the devil does, he, he makes you. He, Satan knows warfare. He knows that it's through speaking. He knows life and death are in the power of the tongue. So he pushes you through ignorance, anger, Offense, lies, lies, especially lies, 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 things that are not true. And you say negative things, say it, say it, say it, say it, till the conditions are as you have said and things spoil. Look at, they walked on the Ni second Niger Bridge. Fantastic. One pillar is like a seven-story building. Each pillar, and there are how many pillars on that thing? Massive. The time it took to put that thing up. And in the middle of it, they created a town, a tunnel and put some very costly, I can't remember, wires or just thick, magnificent things. People, there, 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 they pulled out those things. Just like they pull out transformer cables. They pull them out from multiple streets. I visited a, 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 a relative some time ago and I stopped by to say hi. And he told me how they had burgled their own transformer three times in, in whether three months by the people who, who, who say useless country. Electricity that supplies everyone. Every, this house we are in, we've not had public power for one year. That other street there uses another transformer. There's not been public power for one year. Every single one of them, the transformer, people steal things from it. They pull it apart. 
May the Lord cause them to be cut from now in Jesus' name. Amen. May they be arraigned. May it may be a public spectacle in the name of Jesus in this city. They'll be causing the government. Now, but now contribute this. You have the mind to pull out things that takes away electricity from makes everybody poorer. If you know how much is spent on fuel, you won't even believe it. It's far better if you knew those thieves. Different people knew the thieves. They said, listen, we'll, we'll boggle your transformer. Settle us. It's better they send them 100000 every month. 200000 Because the amount they cost everybody, it's, it's hundreds of millions. Yes. It's far better if there's a way they could find the thief and be dropping something. Oh, uh, thieves, they write a poster and put on that transformer. Please, just drop an account number. Okay, you know. Tell us where to be dropping the cash for you. We will give you instead. The cost of fuel in one day, 10 liters of petrol is something in the range of 7,000 naira. 10. Diesel, 10,000 maybe or more. And that's about three hours. So can you imagine? I don't mean a day. I mean 10 liters. So if you run your generator for six hours, 10 hours. So every day you can just be spitting out 20 to 30,000 naira. That's normal. I'm not just normal. In one week, in one month, it's better to settle the teeth. You spend less. So someone comes and says, I'm going to take that thing. So through our speakings, and let, I'm giving you an example of how it works. Come. This guy is my guy. He's around my area. Now, useless country. Oh, it's a useless country. And he joins. Hey, it's a useless country. Useless. Nonsense. Ah, hey, he's angry. Ooh. So what does he do? He has technical skills at night. He goes to the transformer. No, listen. You cannot see how your words influence him to become a thief. He went, eh, this country has done me bad. Mm. There's nothing I do back to the country that can be bad. That's how he became a transformative. Did you know? You didn't know. You don't connect 2 plus 2. With you, 2 plus 2 is 99. No, no, we never. If God doesn't show you, you never see. How do you think through the speaking of the wicked? He tears it down. I'm explaining. You don't know when you spoke and they heard. Maybe on radio. In, in your class. He now has a roommate who tells him, I read electrical electronics. I know how. It will not shock you. Me, I can't join you now. You, you're a hard guy. See, listen, if you use these gloves, take my gloves. When you go, you see the red one, hold it like this. See the black one, do like this, it will come off. That's how that thing ended up. Do you know it's you that created darkness on your street? Thank you. For one year, this place we are, one year, last year, February, January, February. That's the last February. That's when we had power. Now we can't even use the power. It's not that we ever use it. When we have meetings, that we have to run a generator. You can't use it. It's too, it was too low, too poor. And we don't want power going off during the meeting. So we just run a generator. But at least when the meeting is over, you could still have these fans turning small. You could have like one computer that you can be doing editing on. But you can't. So you end up spending millions, millions, just to have, so you can be comfortable. One person, two people, four people stole a cable stole the oil, stole something. We just joined the other time and said, and after we prayed in our family meeting, I said, what are we sitting here and doing? I didn't we are, go and find out. And they went and found out. And they said, oh, we need so and so hundreds of thousands. So we gave it to them. I hear it should be up by tomorrow. What? Who is it that decided there shall be darkness? Is it federal government that came down and pulled out the wire? No. Someone that is crossing government on the road. Who knows? It might be one of your... Somebody you know, you know go better, it go better. Oh, it will be so better. Let me advise everyone listening to me. Don't speak evil of your nation. Don't. Oh. I, I, I'll ask God to turn it on your head. I am here and I'm not planning to go anywhere. If I go anywhere, it's visit. You cannot spoil the place I'm sitting down. How many of you agree that someone should not spoil the house you're living in? I, there's no way I agree with you. A house I'm staying in, you can't start breaking the bulbs. Can't start breaking the wall, tearing the carpet, burning the curtains. No, don't do it. I'm staying here now. Again, how many of you agree? Lift your hand in solidarity. Let God see it. 
that our nation will be built up, established, and strong. It will be a pleasant place to come to in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 The police will not come because, because you slap your child. Bah, why do you steal that biscuit? Next thing, police will come and collect your child from you. God forbid. God forbid. But that country, God forbid. God forbid. Forbid. Illiterate people. It's a better country. What's a better country? A better country. They have electricity. They have electricity and a child who comes out. You see, man, like you say, man. Man. It's just that uh, if I'm to borrow your wig and put it on his head, will you be angry? <laughs> man. Man, man, man. This guy was a man till he finished secondary school. The year three university. He shows up with, he, with a wig. <laughs> hey, Jesus, mommy. Daddy, I'm coming out. <laughs> Where have you been since? God forbid. That's a better country. Eh? Where your child's teacher, primary three, primary two, you took your child, dropped in school, dropped in school. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm supposed to be self-controlled. In between, I'm thinking, I shouldn't be thinking. Oh, Jesus, you took your child, child, child that you're saying, let's pray. Jesus loves you. He went to school. That teacher looked like this, wearing glasses like this. The teacher, you look like a teacher now, stood there and said, so, and taught your child how to masturbate in class. In class, in primary school. <laughs> Better country. You don't, you don't know Jack. Better country. Then the parents show up. After a long time, they discover, who taught you? They come for PTA meeting. The parent stands. Hey, is, this, is this what you teach our kids? Um, this place says, and if you feel like pleasuring yourself, Mr. This thing, security, and they escort you off the compound. YouTube blocks what he said because it's too indecent to be on YouTube. They teach it to your primary to, to, with pictures. With pictures, they teach them homosexuality. <laughs> With drawings, drawings like comic book. You think I'm exaggerating? I've told you ignorance is your number one finishing. Say, no, me, I'm just looking for a way to go to a better country. Define better. <laughs> you, you didn't check yourself well. Don't be watching TV. What TV? You know what better TV? <laughs> On TV, he said, Oh, look at they show someone a horse, the crib, the crib, the crib with grass. <laughs> you were born for electricity. Why don't you buy bulbs and attach yourself with a small papa? <laughs> Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Leave our country alone. It's good not to have electricity every time. How many of you know that it's those few times your phone died that you read your Bible? <laughs> Leave it! Leave it. I had to be correct. Let them be taking light sometimes. <laughs> is it not the next time you used to write a diary? You had stopped writing since. When your phone died, that's when you caught up. You think every bad thing is a bad thing? Who told you every bad thing is a bad thing? With our level of indiscipline, that God just helps us. How many of you know how fat you would have been if you were eating well? Completely. <laughs> hey, put down your hand. How many of you know if you were in, uh, in the America? That you would be a balloon. You be his roll. You would have been rolling. They would have been rolling you. You wouldn't be help, You wouldn't be happy. Some of you be giants. You, I hope you know. I'm not joking. Better be giving thanks. God gave you a country where you stay slim and sweet. Insulting our country. Don't be insulting our country. Tell the truth. Are you really hungry? Are you hungry? Don't you eat? Some of you will have been mamas. Have you not seen your, your, your cousins? Have you not seen your black cousins? Have you not seen them? You don't see them. You don't see them on YouTube. 
You don't see families. You don't see them <laughs> shaking like this. You don't see them. What do you think they did? They have too much food. Too much. <laughs> when the food goes up, the size goes wide. <laughs> they just keep going like that. And you want to get married. So they make up the face very well and use long wigs. <laughs> it's just that it looks like Montana's problem. Um, all of it, I don't have to praise God. I hope I'm giving you reason to be grateful. These are the things that God will open your eyes to see. The more grateful you are with what you have, the more you learn to have joy in the Holy Spirit, the Lord will start showing you things. Once in a while, so the Holy Spirit will tell you, do you know? And you start saying, ah, God, I'm sorry, and I've been complaining. Thank you. Why do you think when our people go abroad, they pass so well in school? You don't know. You don't know America's education level is super low worldwide. You see, if it's a better country, the teacher, who told you? Why do you think you shine so much? Why do you think all your people shine so much when they go there? They just hammer everything because it's like children's school. It's so watered down that it's not even a challenge. I'm not saying they don't work hard. I'm not saying you don't push yourself. I'm saying... There's a reason why you go there. You think suddenly wherever you travel, you become brighter. <laughs> no, it is because you have been trained, forged in the fires <laughs> of preparation. And you can face anything. Everything is easier. In other words, you are able to be content in all situations. But when you have been in certain situations, you can never be content in another. Are you getting this? Our joy is not to come from physical things primarily. Are you understanding? You must learn to have your joy in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Again, I say, rejoice. Let me rephrase that. Have joy in the Lord. Have joy in the Lord. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Find this joy in the Holy Spirit. If we will go into the Holy Spirit, we will find joy. We will find joy. Let me show us one or two things in addition before we begin to wrap things up this morning. Everything I've just told you is the inheritance. You find it by seeking God first. Not food. Not food. Not money. Not a job. If you don't know what food and money is, it's called a job. Ah, no, where, where are you now? Uh, no, no, I, I applied. I applied for about, to, to about 15 different places. I'm hoping one of them will call me. All of them, top tech, you know. Where are they? Oh, in UK. And, and in, in, one is in France. One is, uh, can you speak French? Soon. So you say, listen, listen. You are not seeking first the kingdom. You're seeking daily bread first. And to be honest, it's not daily bread. You're seeking decadely bread. You're not even seeking yearly bread. You're looking for enough money to carry you for the rest of your life. Jesus said, when you pray, after you have asked your kingdom come, that's righteousness, peace, and joy, come to this earth where I am. Then the next prayer is, give us, not even me, us, not just myself. In other words, what you get is not just for you. Oh, may you understand the Lord's prayer. Give us. That us, it may come through you. And it's for you and your roommate. <laughs> Give us this day our daily bread. Days are seasons of light and darkness. Seasons. Days speak of short seasons. The day is the shortest season. Day, night. A month is the lesser light. Over a period of about 28, 29, 30 days. Going from no moon to quarter moon to full moon to waning moon. Crescent. Gone. Again, a new cycle. I'm explaining. I'm explaining seasons. That's what the moon does. That's how you have the months. A year is the sun going round and completing a turn. 360 days each cycle, and going again, and coming. This is how man orders his life. A day, the sun shows and goes. 
He says you should ask for your sustenance enough to last you for the short seasons, not the long seasons. The short seasons of your life. I'm a student now. That's a short season. I'm in a semester. That's a short season. I'm doing youth service. That's a season. And it's not that long. It's a year. God is so demanding that we trust him that he even says, just the shortest seasons of your life, trust me to take care of you. Don't be planning. Go to, uh, go to verse 33 uh, and further, and you go down to 34. Therefore, do not, after I said, seek you first the kingdom and his righteousness, all these things shall be added. Then he says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. How many of you know tomorrow is after today? He had already told you, ask for the day's bread. Not just for you, for us. That means share what you have. That thing, I, it means that thing I gave you is not for only you. <laughs> oh, when Christians understand that Jesus was talking to his disciples from Matthew 5, 6, and 7, and he was teaching them how to be like him, how he thought. Everybody say, Lord, I want to be like Jesus. I want to see the power of Jesus. I want to love like Jesus. I want to. I want to walk like you. Who knows that song? I want to talk like you. Sing it. Yes, I do. I want to be like you. He used to sing it. Do you know what he meant? Who said you want to be like him? Who said you want to talk like him or walk like him? Who said? Don't be telling lies. Angels are watching. Imitate me as I imitate Christ. Are you imitating Christ? He lived trusting God. I thank God I'm not a young child. I'm not 20 living in my parents' house. So you don't look at me and say, he's saying it. Don't mind him. Is it not someone paying his school fees? Nobody's paying school fees for me. I'm not going to school anymore. Except the school of the spirit. Nobody's. I have a family. I have a biological family. I have extended family. I have spiritual church family. I have seen God provide for all, all of them. Seen the Lord provide, extend his hand and do wondrous things. There hasn't been a difference from when my family was me, my, my body and me. Trusting the Lord for daily provision. Then a wife, me and my wife, trusting God to provide for Then me, my wife and the first child. Trusting God. And then me, my wife, and the second child, third child, fourth child, extended family, one, then two, and three. Church family, one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven, eight, nine. Total number in household, 18. Nothing has changed at every time. No stories are allowed. No, don't come. See, you don't understand. See, see, you don't understand the realities of our country. From that time, good luck, Jonathan. When the, it's like, like telling stories. You see that man? I think he likes hearing stories. Tell him. I have no interest in being around you. I don't want to hear it. Because my God, I've told you the worst that can happen is the soup is what, more watery. The meat is smaller or non-existent. The fish you are searching for. And then they say they broke it into it, you know, like, <laughs> which is good, like seasoning. <laughs> That's the worst that can happen. But to say that you starved and your stomach was touching your backbone. <laughs> hey, listen, there's sin in your life because my God, or you wasted it on a pair of shoes, which if it's leather, you should just cut it and boil it. I've told you the reason many of God's children suffer. They are reckless. Reckless. God provides their daily bread. They, they blow it on a new pair of shoes. God says, here's for your daily bread. They go like, ooh. Yeah. How much do you say that dress is? I've told you. Be cutting the dress. Boil it. Have, see, listen. It's good to have pepper, salt, and onions. If you can't buy real onions, buy powdered onions. There's some, oh, you can't afford it. It's too costly. I don't know. When your neighbor throws away the cover of onions, pack it and boil it. Extract the essence. 
call it onion essence. You can write on it, sticker. You know. We have a friend that does graphics, came to design something. Just to create your own bottle flavors. I forgot, you can't afford it. 